Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com and in this video we're going to have a first look at a new build for Windows phones. This is Windows 10 technical preview build uh, 10051 that was released uh, just last night and uh, I know some people had issues installing it but actually installed pretty well, uh, fast on my uh, 630 test phone which I've got here. It was already running the previous build I think uh, and there were quite a few changes on, on this build and a few issues as well. So I'll have a look at a few of the, the good stuff i found. Um, there's new apps, new mail app and new um, Project Spartan. So this is the new Project Spartan browser. Um, replaced Internet Explorer. So it's quite fast at rendering the pages and it does look quite nice on this on this 630. Um, maybe the menu there is a little bit small. It's bigger on my other, other phones. But it's nice and fast and smooth. You've got a reading mode so if we uh, if we open a page, so I hit the reading mode there, it re-renders it in a sort of easier to read page that's uh, quite nice actually. So and that, that works quite well, that sort of reading view takes away um, some of the banners and the side stuff and uh, just focuses on the content. So that's quite a nice option. You've got a tab switcher. Now you can see my something else that you'll notice there is a little bit of a lag on everything but we'll come back to why that is in a sec so we've got a tab switcher and um, let's go back you've got these a sharing option but that doesn't do anything I think that should shoot oh maybe it does so when I tried this before it didn't work at all there you go it is working now so you can share pages to Outlook which the mail client or, or um, like I said to my Microsoft Band or reading list or Twitter or uh, OneNote which I quite often use for collecting articles together. You can send it to, you can got this hub option as well where you can add to things to favourites, to reading lists which is for reading later or you can look at your history. So overall Spartan very first impressions on this phone seems pretty good. Now the other thing is there's new mail and calendar apps as I showed before so this is the new Outlook Mail client. And um, again this, this seems really nice actually, a nice looking app. And you can do things like swipe left and set the flag, so swipe right, right and delete. And you've got the search options and you can switch between different uh, mail systems. I've got my Outlook and my uh, Gmail and you can switch between them. So very first impressions of this is to see a very clean looking UI and I'm uh, really pleased to see this on the desktop version actually because I don't really like the Windows mail client that comes with the with Windows 8.1. There's a new calendar as well which uh, which again is very uh, nice looking, nice and smooth to use so I think these look like these are going to be good apps. So the mail clients um, support Outlook, Gmail, um, Exchange, Office 365, Yahoo, iMap and Pop, so you've got plenty of options with that. Now there's new phone and um, people apps, let's have a look at those. Now this phone, this hasn't got a, an active sim for calling. Sorry about the reflections there on the video, this is uh, on this dark theme, it just seems to reflect from this 630. So this is the You've got quick access. This is the phone app. You've got quick access to your people. You can search your voicemail. Here you've got a dial pad, um, and it's usually the dark theme. Now I've got a light theme set on my phone, so I guess that these will switch when the when the finished version to whichever theme you're currently using. So this is the new people app. I'm looking at Sony here. Um, so you can sort of do all the things. You can message from the from the one place. Uh, you can pin a person. You've got groups and things like that. I tend to have mine favourited. I've not tried doing that yet. Although you could just pin the, your favourites into a folder and, and, and put those together. Um, so cosmetically different. Uh, we'll have to see what actual other changes are in this. And uh, just send an email straight from from the app there. This is the new messaging app. Um, so again, a different design with the round uh, icons which uh, I quite like as well. A visual change from the previous version but uh, looking quite nice on there and you can call from there and you can attach things. So uh, They've done quite nice uh, user interface change and that does seem a lot better. 
Now, when we're switching around, you notice it's a bit sluggish. But to have got this new switcher um, with the cross on there, I think if you've got a larger screen phone, it will um, give you sort of like the 1520, which I, as my main phone, it will give you a, a different view, uh, like a, a multiple pane view, so you can have like a grid of them. Um, but yeah, that looks quite good. Um, it's quite easy switching between the apps and the tasks. So one of the issues I have with this build is it can be a bit slow loading, as you've seen from uh, when I'm waiting for some stuff um, to open. Some things don't appear to be doing anything and then they do open and um, some things are a little bit slow. So if I say open uh, Twitter app, there is a noticeable delay as, as it opens. Um, now I'm used to 1520s my daily phone, so perhaps uh, that is part of the issue. But it also seems to be uh, slower on this build than it was on the previous build. I'm sure they'll sort that out. And some fact, some 512, some apps don't even work on 512 phones like this one, so that could be part of the issue. So you've got the updated photos app on there as well. Um, I think there's also a new map app. Let's have a look at that. Here's a new maps app, and this looks very much like the one in the in the desktop version. And it is in fact a, a universal app, so it is on on both the same app on both systems. So we've got the choice of different layers: aerial view, traffic view, and traffic view. I tend to use quite often. I have found on this build, uh, Cortana no longer works. Uh, you can try and launch the app, and nothing happens. There you go, you see it launches and then quits, and that could be that 512 issue that uh, Microsoft have been talking about. Uh, they, they, they said that uh, Bluetooth introduction with Cortana wasn't working either, but I couldn't even get the app, app to load. So I've had the speed issues, and um, I've had a few random crashes as well. Look at like, that, this, uh, the OneNote app isn't working there, but I think I just need to repin that. But I've had it where it um, crashes. Uh, for a few times, it just crashes completely and actually reboots. But it's early days yet, and um, it's good to be able to get access to a preview version. That one note was not even installed now. Final thing we look at is um, if we go to the settings, you see that now you've got this Windows 10 style of settings, which is looking better. Um, like in the previous build, and think this is a lot better now than it used to be with the old Windows phones, where everything was just in a long list of things. So that's a quick look at uh, Windows 10 technical preview um, build 10,051 on this Lumia 630. I, I wouldn't like to use this as my daily phone; it's now a, a bit sluggish. But it is nice to see some of the preview features and things like the Spartan browser and the Outlook Mail client are really good. So. Uh, looks promising and I'm sure we'll see more from Microsoft new versions coming from Microsoft soon. So thanks for watching this video and look out for more on our YouTube channel.